Greetings my friends. I welcome you to this powerful and life-changing video about how the great prophet Moses overcame anxiety and emerged victorious by placing his unwavering trust in the Lord. If you are struggling with anxiety, fear, or feeling overwhelmed, I encourage you to join me in this journey of faith and inspiration. As you stream this video, I invite you to type the words, God is great, in the comments below. By doing so, you are inviting me to lift you up in prayer, that the Lord may minister to your heart and grant you the peace and assurance you so desperately need. The Word of God reminds us in Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As we look at the life of Moses, we see a man who faced immense challenges, yet he emerged victorious by trusting in the Lord. When God called Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt and into the Promised Land, Moses was faced with a seemingly insurmountable task. The Israelites were rebellious and complaining people, constantly testing Moses' patience and resolve. Imagine the anxiety and stress that must have weighed heavily on Moses' heart as he navigated the treacherous wilderness, dealing with the people's constant grumbling and demands. Yet Moses did not succumb to fear or despair. Instead, he turned to the Lord, the source of his strength and refuge. Through Moses' example, we learn that when we feel overwhelmed by anxiety, the answer lies in surrendering our worries to the Lord. Moses knew that he could not rely on his own strength or wisdom, but rather he had to trust in the sovereign plan of God. Time and time again the Lord proved himself faithful, delivering the Israelites from their enemies and providing for their needs in the desert. My friends, if Moses could overcome anxiety and lead the Israelites to the Promised Land, then you too can triumph over the anxieties and challenges you face in your own life. When you place your trust in the Lord, He will guard your heart and mind, granting you the peace that surpasses all understanding. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to join me in prayer as we come boldly before the throne of our Almighty God. Let us lift our voices and ask the Lord to help us overcome the burdens of anxiety and fear that so often weigh us down. Heavenly Father, our Rock and our Redeemer, we humbly approach you in this moment, seeking your divine intervention and guidance. We know that it's only through your strength and grace that we can find the courage to face the challenges that lie before your children. Almighty and gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts filled with gratitude and reverence. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of drawing near to your throne of grace, where we can find the strength and comfort we so desperately need. Heavenly Father, we lift up all those who are watching this video and have joined our team to worship your name by typing God is great in the comments. We ask that you minister to their hearts and minds in a profound way. Lord, we know that anxiety can be a heavy burden to bear, but you have promised your children that your yoke is easy and your burden is weightless. Matthew 11:30. We pray that you would pour out your perfect peace upon each and every one of them. Calm their restless spirits, Lord, and help them to find their rest in you. 
may they be filled with the assurance that you are always with them, guiding their steps and fighting their battles. Just as you were with Moses, Lord, we ask that you would be with your children, give them the unwavering faith and courage that Moses had, that we may trust in your plan and follow wherever you lead. Help your children to lean not on their own understanding, but to acknowledge you in all their ways, that you may direct our paths. Proverbs 5, verses 5 and 6. Fill your children with the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, that we may walk in the victory and freedom that you have secured for your children through the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness, that others may see your goodness and be drawn to you. We know, Lord, that the enemy seeks to steal our peace and fill your children with worry. But we declare that greater is he who is in our midst than he who is in the world. 1 John 4 verse 4 We choose to stand firm in our faith, trusting that you will protect your children. Provide for your children and lead them to the promised land of your blessings. Lord, we ask that you would renew our minds and transform our hearts so that your children cease to conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the transformation of our minds. Romans 12 verse 2 Help your children fix their eyes on you, the author and perfecter of our faith. Hebrews 12 verse 2 We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your unfailing love and for the hope that we have in you. In the precious and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. My dear friends, as we bring this powerful message to a close, I want to leave you with a renewed sense of hope and determination. The life of Moses has shown us that, no matter how daunting the circumstances may be, when we place our trust in the Lord, He will see us through. I encourage you to revisit this video Whenever you find yourself overwhelmed by anxiety or fear, allow the lessons of Moses' unwavering faith to sink deep into your heart and mind. Remember that the same God who delivered the Israelites from bondage is the same God who desires to set you free from the chains of worrying and despair. As you go about your day, I encourage you to share this video with your loved ones. Together, let's spread the good news of God's power to heal, restore, and provide peace that transcends all understanding. Invite your friends and family to join us in this journey of faith, so that we may all experience the abundant blessings and fruitfulness that come from walking closely with the Lord. Remember, my friends, that you are not alone in this battle. The Lord is with you and He is fighting for you. So stand firm in your faith and watch as God works mightily in your life. And may the grace of our Lord, Jesus Christ, be with you all.